Hello Capricorn. Welcome to your love reading Capricorn. Let's see what messages will show up for you. Capricorn, this is a collective love message for your sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Capricorn. Capricorn. Show me Capricorn, please. Show me Capricorn. Capricorn situation, please. Show me Capricorn situation, please. Show me Capricorn situation, please. Hmm. Okay. So we have loyal justice, connection, communication. We have Mercury. You might have placements, Mercury or Pluto, also Capricorn. And we have harmony, stable, Venus. My gosh, look, Venus. Maybe you are, you know, Capricorn, uh, Mercury, Venus, Pluto as well. It might be a case doesn't have to be, or you have those placements as well. Right. So we have loyal justice, uh, connect connection communication stable it's very very can't really see let me take a look harmony stable venus harmony stable venus rebirth transformation potential. well so capricorn i feel that there is a particular connection here that you share with someone and if things has been quite difficult or quite challenging with regards to this connection you can expect that things will change for the better okay with this transformation card if there if there is for instance at the moment a no contact situation between the two of you this person will communicate we have loyal this is someone who emotionally is very loyal to you i feel this person is loyal I'm getting very strongly emotionally and we have this you know we have those butterflies around we have justice loyal justice for some of you there is a connection when this person has to prove that you can trust them meaning they have to prove that they are loyal because you might have your reservations but we have harmony and stable with the justice is like um, something here will be treated with justice with regards to this connection with fairness I'm seeing this person coming forward and telling you the truth and that truth will bring enormous amount of stability to this connection and harmony and also will show that this person is loyal okay so if things has been quite um, challenging between the two of you Capricorn um, I'm seeing with this transformation things will will get better easier in this connection okay you have someone here who wants to prove uh, prove it to you that they are loyal that they care they want to create like a stable connection full of harmony and fairness mm -hmm. communication is coming we have the will of fortune Capricorn we have a five of swords okay we have the hanged man so indeed there might be a no contact situation between the two of you we have the empress what's the side message here Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Six of Swords, Nine of Cups. Yes, if things has been quite draining with regards to this connection, um, it shows here that this person wants to make an offer. The communication is coming indeed, especially with this Knight of Cups and Page of Pentacles, some sort of form of an offer of love. It's showing up with the Six of Cups. For some of you, Capricorn, the whole core of, for instance, 
it might be case that you might have suspect or you might be suspecting that this person is not loyal right because we have a reason why this card is here is because you might you might assume or you might be suspecting that um, they ex came into the scene with the queen of wands and six of cups and nine of swords brings this it's bringing automatically this energy of an anxiety and stress For some of you, that that might be a situation here, Capricorn. That you might be, you might feel unsure, or you know, or maybe even ex was involved in this situation. Might be, and this person wants to tell you that listen, you have nothing here to worry about, okay? Because I am not interested in that ex with the Queen of Wands and Six of Cups. And it's like they want to provide you an explanation about the situation. Mm -hmm. So we have the Empress. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel that for now, yeah. We have Strength. At the bottom of the deck, we have a Five of Cups. Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Um, <laughs> I need to cover <laughs> this Five of Cups, the beautiful mermaid here, okay? We'll do it that way. Oh, yeah, King of Swords as well let's see let's see capricorn so you might be dealing with sagittarius i have pisces i also have very strong um a very strong fixed energy okay so we have leo very strong leo actually taurus aquarius uh, scorpio virgo gemini Okay, so we have quite a few signs here. Wheel of Fortune, Five of Swords, Handman. Mm. I feel that you would draw your energy here. You, it's, it's something like you are not quite sure about this situation. With the Five of Swords, I'm getting this... It's like the energy of mind games, of... of this person not being 100% transparent or they are manipulative it's like the energy of lying about a certain situation here I feel that you would draw your energy here Capricorn or you are unsure um, that can you know please take it how it resonates or you might unsure you might be unsure about this 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 person's intentions because with the will of fortune something here really kind of um had the potential for for happiness i feel that will of will of fortune at the beginning of the reading it also kind of uh, shows this 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 energy of of destiny something feel destined something feel good there is like a change of luck change of luck for the better but this five of swords it's it's like maybe you're suspecting that this person is playing mind games or they did something i got this energy of an ex that you know you might feel that this person is still in touch with them that's why you've kind of a took a step back and with the hanged man it's it's like a pause because Wheel of Fortune is very active orientated card, right? The thing is getting into motion. But next to it, we have this Five of Swords and then we have the Hangman. It's like a pause because of this Five of Swords. So I feel that you might feel that um, or you might suspect that something here, it's, it's, it's not quite right. And with the hangman, it's like you took a step back in order to understand something because, you know, the hangman is this change of perspective. See something from a different angle. It's like you're trying to understand something here about this person's behavior or why they acted in a certain way. But I feel there might be no contact situation between the two of you. You have this, this person 
Capricorn, they see you as their divine counterpart. We have the Empress. This is divine feminine energy. Male, female, please take it how it resonates. We all have divine masculine, divine feminine energy within us. But they see you as their divine counterpart, someone very caring, loving, very nurturing. And next to the Nine of Pentacles, it's, wow, you, you are like a catch with the strength you're holding back, you are very, it's, you are very powerful, this is power, gosh, this is power, with the five of cups, this person is, it's, it's, I don't know, something here feels like, um, they are, they are full of regret, I pulled this king of swords, um, this person wants to talk. This communication is coming in. So indeed we have communication. It's like they want to explain the situation. But you have very nice cards here. That represents stability. Someone who is very loyal. Mm -hmm. So it feels like... Um, The situation will be clarified. I feel this person will try to reassure you, listen, you are the one for me. Because the Empress with the Nine of Pentacles, it's like, you are my Empress. You are my divine counterpart. Strength, yeah. This is someone who admires your, your strength, your emotional intelligence. But I also feel that... Uh, <laughs> Yes, you are like, um, you're holding back. This is very strength, it's self-control, self-discipline energy, holding back. We have this hanged man here. Mm, I feel that you've, but this is like a very kind of classy energy with the Empress and the Nine of Pentacles. I feel that you approach this situation in a very classy way. It might be because that you just withdrew your energy, you took a step back. Because you just fully, I, I feel that there is something with this five of swords here. It's like you don't trust. Something, you might feel that something is off. And this person has to prove to you. Because, let's be clear, you, I, don't, I don't see you making any move here towards them. They need to come with, 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 with communication. No, you are sitting in your power. You know, you are very powerful here and you maintain this power. They need to make an effort. Let's see this person's feelings towards you. Capricorn. Let's see this person's feelings towards Capricorn. This person is heartbroken. We have souls. This person's feelings towards Capricorn. This person's feelings towards Capricorn. Justice, you see, this justice is showing up, and the Ten of Pentacles. We have a hermit at the bottom of the deck. So you might be dealing with Libra or Virgo. I also have Virgo with the hermit. This is someone who is heartbroken over this situation. They want to fix this. With the justice deep inside, they feel that they need to provide some sort of explanation. We have justice and connection communication. Yeah, justice with regards to love-related situation. Obviously. Mm -hmm. This is what their heart is telling them, but they are heartbroken here. This is someone who went within with the hermit they are thinking they are thinking about you non-stop they are thinking about the situation they want you to trust them yeah that this is someone who they heart it's telling them their feelings their heart is telling them listen you need to approach capricorn here you need to explain the situation because deeply inside this is someone who wants to be with you who wants to be in a long-term relationship with you long-term relationship with you justice with the ten of pentacles it's like an official relationship or making this 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 connection official they want balance they want harmony they want stability stable connection 
Absolutely. This, this person feels that they need to uh, explain something, that they need to tell you their story, that they, 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 they feel that they need to come across and they need to prove to you that they actually, their loyalty lies with you. And it might be something to do with the ex, because we have a three of swords, right? Therefore, three people might be involved in this situation, but not, not necessarily um, some that this person has feelings for this per, for, for, for this ex, let's say it that way, Capricorn, right? However, you might feel that, you, let's say that the children are involved and this ex, it's manipulative, can be with the five of swords, right? And it's like this person was put in this situation or they didn't want it to, 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 to uh, you to kind of uh, worry about the situation. That, that's why they, I don't know, maybe they, 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 they hidden some sort of information and you found out about and then you kind of, um, you know, you, you confronted them, you said, well, why why would you hide it you know something like this please take it how it resonates gosh this is a collective message so there will be many scenarios here for you capricorn but i'm seeing that something here backfired at this person and they are heartbroken over the situation you i feel that you might have took they something that they said or the way they acted or something maybe whether they wanted to kind of you know keep their phone very close to them it's like hmm is this person really kind of you know maybe they are playing mind games with me either way i'm seeing very strongly in their feelings here capricorn that this person is heartbroken and they do want to talk this is someone who is thinking about this situation uh with the hermit they don't want to make a mistake the way they with regards to communication they want to come across as wise as person who've been through a lot i feel this person has some sort of story here to to to, to kind of tell you and it's something to do maybe with regards to their ex you know previous relationship or some sort of disappointment in love maybe this is someone who's divorced or they had or they were in a very very uh, long-term relationship but things didn't work out but somehow this ex you know maybe children are involved but i don't see this person being interested at all if that's the case it might not be the case at all but i'm getting very strongly for someone here that the ex might be kind of a, a like a like core of this whole situation with the justice they want to balance things out with you this is what they had it's telling them in order to have this ten of pentacles because at the end of the day this is someone who wants to create a long-term stable relationship with you how this person sees capricorn the tower this is someone who feels that they messed things up Five of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Mm -hmm. You might be dealing with Aries. I have strong Scorpio as well. Yeah, this this person is, I would say, devastated with the Tower. We have a Four of Cups. <sighs> mm. Uh how this is how they see you okay this is their perception is that whatever um with the tower it's like you are just unhappy about the whole situation it wouldn't surprise me that you refuse to talk to them or be in touch with them this is a very specific message if that that reading doesn't resonate with you that's that's fine but um i'll be posting you know soon another love reading but this is someone's story here, that's for sure. With the Five of Pentacles and Nine of Wands, this person feels that you don't trust them. And this is all about proving them that they are loyal to you. With the Four of Cups, mm, it, this person feels that you might be annoyed with them, you know. And 
deeply inside this is someone who is afraid that you will reject them because four of cups is this energy of rejection you know that that that, that situation represented by the three of cups is no longer making us happy and we have this offer of love here coming but is it enough this is their perception you know it's is that this is how they see you because i feel that you know and it makes sense really because we have a three of swords and three of swords it's showing here that this person is heartbroken therefore a perception here of of how you might feel of you is that you don't trust them because something here happened and it was quite shocking and with the five of pentacles this is this energy of dissatisfaction and disappointment mm -hmm. energy energy yeah you see how cards moved yeah this is someone who this person is heartbroken and they feel that you don't trust them and they need to it's like they feel that they need to prove to you that they are loyal that they want you and in their feelings they want you big time show me uh the outcome for the near future please Show me the outcome for the new future. We have an eight of wands, which is communication, conversation, action. Ace of wands, my gosh, more action. Okay, show me the outcome. What else to the situation for Capricorn? Ten of swords. Ace of swords. This is a communication gosh have two aces well this if there is a no contact situation between the two of you you can expect that things will change we have an ace of swords which is a major energy of clarity and honest conversation that's going to take place that's a triumph of clarity and truth and honesty eight of wands to the ace of wands yes this is someone here who will take an action who will take action um communication conversation coming in ace of wands it's like a new beginning but this new beginning here can be achieved but this this individual has to uh, explain something here about this ten of swords the, and that's what i was getting throughout throughout this reading this is there will be a com communication conversation very honest exchange of opinions views there will be an honest conversation between the two of you here capricorn and i feel this person will tell you something about some sort of uh situation represented by this ten of swords which was a very very emotionally difficult this is a major card of betrayal it's it's this this situation i feel involves another individual in their life that at the time they were involved in with and this person will tell you that that person uh, metaphorically saying it, it felt like they action felt like they stabbed them in the back just betrayal and they had to surrender to the circumstances that's what i am seeing here very very strongly <sighs> will you accept this explanation it's up to you capricorn i can see that maybe for some of you it's not enough and you'll say listen you know it's done but um but with this oracle cards really i feel that this person really wants to prove that they are loyal that they loyal to life with you that they want to create stable harmonious relationship they want to they want to bring some sort of kind of a explanation why you know they came across that way or whatever this vibe of sorts might represent with regards to your situation but this is someone who wants to balance things out with you they do want to be with you and communication in your outcome it's 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 it's, it's the energy is main, mainly kind of a 
focused on communication. So there will be a very important conversation that will bring enormous amount of clarity with regards to this situation. And I have, you know, Ace of Swords and Ace of Wands. So there, there, for some of you, there will be a chance to have a new beginning with this person or give them another chance or, you know, but this is someone who needs to explain. They need to tell you their story. They need to be very transparent. And I feel that they are ready to be very transparent. And with this transformation card, there is a chance to trans this situation that both of you might be in or this connection might be in. There is a chance to uh, to heal this connection. So if things has been challenging and difficult, there will, there, there will be a chance provided by this uh, honest conversation uh, to, to, to change it for the better because this is someone who wants to be with you. They want to be with you, Capricorn. And I feel this person is ready to share their story. And it's this story, on, uh, this story is, um, I feel, not an easy one represented by the Ten of Swords. Not an easy one to, to share for this person, for sure. Because this is a story about something here that didn't work out and brought enormous amount of dissatisfaction, disappointment and, and emotional pain uh, in their life or to their life. But you can expect an honest conversation and I feel it will be very healing. It will bring enormous amount of clarity, an opportunity here to to kind of uh, find a common ground. I feel that you will change a little bit, you know. Also, I feel that the honesty here and what they will tell you, uh, I feel that you will acknowledge this. And, uh, you know, collect as a collective, I feel that you, you will give this person another chance or some sort of kind of a, with the Ace of Wands, yeah, a new beginning here. It's very much possible. So this connection can be healed because you ultimately have someone here who, who is, uh, who, who loves you, who wants to create uh, a stable relationship with you. And they want to prove that you can trust them. Capricorn, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly appreciate you. Capricorn, have a fantastic and wonderful day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. Take care. Bye.